Hello everyone. The one who's talking with you now is your mathematics teacher, who cannot wait to see you in the class. My name is Zat Utum. Math would be a funny and wonderful subject. I'm sure some of you looked before to math as a difficult subject, but in our class we will change this feeling and I promise you that the math will be very easy and interesting. Welcome everyone again to this exciting journey into the world of mathematics. Welcome everyone again to this exciting journey into the world of mathematics. Now, let me talk about fundamental concepts that form the building blocks of our subject. In our subject, we will study eight units, and all of these units will be simple and short. Unit number one will be about real numbers. Our mathematics journey begins with real numbers. These numbers are the foundation of mathematics. In comparing integers, fractions, decimals, and even irrational, like the famous pi, real numbers fill the world around us and understanding them is the first step to unlock the magic of math. Unit number two, analyze and solve linear equations. Next up will be analyzing and solving linear equations. Linear equations are like the building blocks of algebra, helping us solve everyday problems from figuring to expenses to determining the time. The time it takes to travel somewhere. Linear equations are your go-to tool. In this unit, we will learn how we can solve equations with like terms on one side of the equations. And we will explain and show how to solve multi-steps equations and pairs of equations using more than one approach. Unit number th three will be about use, using functions to model relationships. Let's explore the power of functions to model relationships. Functions are like mathematical machines that take input and produce output. Understanding them allows us to model everything from how fast a car is going to how much you earn over time. In this unit, we will learn how to tell whether a relation is a function and we will use a different representation to compare linear and nonlinear functions. And we will learn how to sketch the graph of a function that has been described very well. Unit number four, investigate bivariate data. We delve into investigating bivariate data. Bivariate data analyze helps you explore relationships between two variables. Whether you are studying the link between study time and test scores or analyzing the impact of temperature on ice cream sales, this skill is invaluable. In this unit, we will construct a scatter plot to model paid data. Also, we will make a prediction when no equation is given by drawing trend lines and writing the equation of the linear model. Unit number five, analyze and solve systems of linear equations. Solving systems of linear equations is another exciting challenge. Imagine you have a multiple equations representing different aspects of a problem. Solving the system allows you to find the solution that satisfies all conditions. It's like solving multiple puzzles at once. In this unit, we will learn how to find the number of solutions of a system of linear equations by inspecting the equations, and we will learn how to solve systems of equations by using substitution and elimination. Unit number six, congruence and similarity. Let's explore the world of geometry. 
congruence and similarity help us understand how shapes relate to one another, whether it's finding similar triangles or determining if two shapes are congruent. These concepts are vital for understanding the world of forms. In this unit, we will translate figures on a coordinate in a coordinate plane. Also, describe and evaluate translation, and we will learn how to rotate a two-dimensional figure. Unit number seven will be about understand and apply the Pythagorean theorem. Understanding and applying the Pythagorean theorem is like having a secret tool for measuring distances. This theorem allows us to find the length of one side of a right triangle when we know the length of the other two sides. It's a fundamental concept in geometry. And the last unit will be solve problems involving surface area and volume. Solving problems involving surface area and volume is essential in a various real world sensors. From designing, packaging, to calculating the amount of paint needed to cover a room. These skills help us navigate the world in three dimensions. As we, as we conclude our thrilling mathematical journey, remember that math is not just about numbers and equations. It's a way of thinking problem solving and understanding the world. Embrace these concepts, practice, and let your mathematical adventure. In a math class, I will deal with everyone according to his level. I will work in developing all levels so that everyone can reach the level of creativity. We will also have a continuous assessment to ensure understanding and develop your levels. We will have many practical activities that connect mathematics with our daily lives, and this will make mathematics simple and fun as well. What I want is for you to enter our class, math class, with a smile and determination. See you soon, and good luck.